Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. Let's go to Annalisa to see what's happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history on June 3rd, 2017, the Amazing Road of Dr. Seuss Museum opens in Springfield, Massachusetts. The Amazing Road of Dr. Seuss Museum was developed as a partnership between the Springfield Museum and Dr. Seuss Enterprises as a tribute to Springfield native Theodore Seuss Skeezel, also known as Dr. Seuss. Some of Dr. Seuss's well-known books are The Cat in the Hat, Green Eggs and Ham, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and many more. Giesel is quite simply the most beloved children's book author of all time. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Annalicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. Though there are numerous ultra marathons, very few compared to the Barkley Marathons. The annual 100-mile race that challenges participants both mentally and physically has been completed by only 14 of the 1,100 total participants in its 30-year history. To put it in perspective, that is just two more than the number of people that have walked on the moon. Competitors have a hard time completing the marathon because it changes yearly. The course is revealed the day prior to the race, making any training impossible. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is hot dog, potato rounds, hot dog bun, baked beans, baby carrots, ranch dressing, fresh apples, cool ranch chickpeas, ketchup, and milk. Students, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, here are a few events coming up this week. Tomorrow, June 1st, is the kindergarten drive through celebration going on from 9 to 10 a.m. Also, tomorrow, 8th graders will be enjoying themselves at the 8th grade grilling event. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 86 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Looks like the rain is getting more aggressive. Now, let's go to Samma for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. What is Uncle Sam's favorite treat? Firecrackers! Now let's go to Sonia for today's birthdays. Thanks, Samuel. Great joke! Today's birthday girls are Gabrielle Brooks, Genesis Pierre, Esther Hardison Pobero, Abigail Asius, Gianni Gustav, and Shakira Broughton. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. I'm Dan Kwa, Ms. Bonilla, Ms. Calabrese, Ms. Yearwood, Ms. Stone, and Ms. Santori. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, Nolani is outside a shop. She can't read the signs, but she knows she needs to go in to make a purchase. What store is she at? The correct answer to the riddle was the eyeglasses store. Now for today's riddle. When planting a large tree, which side of the house should it always be planted? Again, when planting a large tree, which side of the house should it always be planted? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on tomorrow's morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget to remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.